In this video we will go through the design process and design a panel using Panels Plus. We can see that in the project view none of our design and results buttons are active. The same applies in the elevation view. This is because panels can only be designed in the individual panel view. Before we design a panel, lifting points must be defined. Panels Plus will automatically generate lifting points, either edge lifters or face lifters, based on the values in the default settings. As an initial run, I'll try two top edge lifters. Selecting them, I can modify the dimensions. With lifters defined, I can now run the analysis. I can review my design parameters and material properties. The material properties are non-code specific and they can be modified by the user. The centrally laid mesh can be specified as typical Australian sections or user-defined sections. Once the analysis is done, the results section becomes active and we can also see the reactions in both of our lifters. Panels Plus simply gives the reaction present in a lifter and it is up to the end user to specify a lifter that has adequate capacity. Pressing the Moment section, we can click anywhere in the panel and view a moment line with maximum and minimum values. We can also view our stresses in the X and the Y. In this particular case, stresses in the Y will be of most interest. And clicking throughout the panel, we can see the value of the stress displayed on screen. We're getting a lot of warning circles showing us that the stresses in these areas are beyond the acceptable limits. The red and the black dots are stresses so high that even if we put extra reinforcement in the areas, we'll probably still get cracking in the section. It will be behaving as a cracked section in bending. Due to the large area of this panel that's covered in these dots, we can tell straight away that the lifting arrangement that we've chosen isn't suitable. We could either stiffen up these areas by inserting strongbacks, or choose a more suitable lifting arrangement. I'll select the edge lifters and pressing delete on the keyboard to delete them and I'll automatically generate some face lifters. Pressing the lifters I can change the dimensions and I can see that the lifter centroid matches up on the x-axis with the centroid of the panel. Panels Plus does this by default so that when the panel is lifted it doesn't spin. Running the analysis again and viewing our stresses in the Y, we can see that our stresses have reduced significantly. We're still getting quite high stresses in these areas, but in this area we could probably get away with putting some extra reinforcement. Pressing redraw to clear, we press the reinforcement design button and we can scroll through the various four layers of reinforcement. We can see that we don't need extra reinforcement except in the YY bottom direction we'll use the reinforcement design feature. To do this we have to define an AST zone for Panels Plus to design in. Press the AST zone button. With snap to edge selected we press the edge of the panel and holding shift on the keyboard we create a bounded rectangular area. Pressing the reinforcement design button again Panels Plus calculates the required extra reinforcement in this area. In this case, 6 and 12 bars. We'll draw two strong backs to stiffen up these areas. So with snap to grid selected, and we make sure orthogonal is on, we will draw our strong back. The strong back sections are Australian sections by default, but the values can be changed in the properties window. Now that we've defined our steel and our strong backs, we'll run our analysis again and see how our panel is behaving. Looking at our stresses in the Y, 
we can see that all of the warning circles are gone except in two spots. Now we can ignore these because this is only high stress in one find an element node. In reality this stress will be spreading out over the surrounding area so we can ignore it. This may not be the cheapest way of constructing the panel so we'll try another option. We'll delete the strong backs and the AST zone and increase the number of facelifters. To do that we select them, right click and change it to 2x2. Two two. We get a warning that the center line doesn't match and the panel could be tilting. We press OK and we review our facelifting configuration. Now we can tell here that this may not work because it's too close to the edge, same with here. So we'll, we'll locally modify these dimensions. And we run our analysis again. We can see that all of the reactions in the lifters are equal. It is assumed in Panels Plus that it's being lifted by a system of pulleys. We then double check our stresses in the Y. And we can see that the stresses are very low and the panel is behaving very comfortably. So this seems to be a more economic lifting layout for this panel. We've gotten rid of the strong backs and we don't need to put extra reinforcement. Now, the remaining panels are designed in a similar fashion and then the shop drawings are produced. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.